What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, wow, we have not come back to them in a long time. We're coming back to Arch Enemy. Yes, indeed. Arch Enemy fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Tavern Tech. And it was also the winner of the premier tier Patreon request prioritization poll, winning with 42% of the vote. It was it was pretty close, uh, but they got the vote and they got the win. It was number 566 in the queue. It got bumped straight up to number one. But yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. They all want to see me react to this. It is Arch Enemy with a tune called Handshake with L. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, hang on, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Arch Enemy, eh, shocking. And the video has 4.9 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. A link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Arch enemy, handshake with hell. Official video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Official video coming off the band's official page. You already know what I'm going to say, so I'm not going to say it. We're just going to hope for the best and see what happens. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Up to this point, I have thoroughly enjoyed everything I've heard. I have had such a great day of filming. I have done eight, this is my eighth video of the day, okay? 
I this is how I usually operate. I'll 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 film eight videos in one day and then I'll edit four videos and then four videos and then I'll gear up and film another eight. You know what I mean? That's usually how it works. Because editing, believe me when I say this, editing takes twice as long as filming does. That's the truth. Um I got through the first seven videos, and like I said, I, I've had a great deal of filming. All all seven videos before I got to this, I've enjoyed in some way, shape, or form, okay? There's not been one video I have not enjoyed. I got to this video. Now, look, I have a very good track record with Arch Enemy. I do. But <laughs> there's always there's always the opportunity for that one song, you know, to come along and just ruin my day. I, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I, I got ready to do this reaction. I was thinking to myself, wouldn't that be a real shame if this is the one Arch Enemy song that I don't like, and this is gonna ruin my filming day? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be seven for eight. I don't want that. I really want to be eight for eight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So far, I'm batting a hundred, a thousand. So far, I'm eight for eight, and I, yes. <laughs> oh, such a relief. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Man, I dug that intro. I loved the build. I loved how the guitar lines, you know, those the, the 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 melodic line was going and going and going and going and going and going and going, and then out of nowhere, boom! Just this huge explosion of sound comes in. Big, full, rich sound, and it continued to build and continued to build and continue to build in a very grandioso way. And then the song kicked in and the main groove kicked in and we were off and running to the races. Oh, yes. So far, so good. Uh, Alyssa sounds great. Her vocal delivery sounds great. Granted, this is studio. I know it's a studio recording. I get it, you know, but man, sounds so good. Everything sounds good. Let's keep going i'm going to enjoy going a for a today i just i have a good feeling I want to play along to this. I'm sorry. Oh, ah, uh, they tuned down half a step. They're playing in. They're playing an F, but they're playing. They're on their necks. They're playing an F sharp, but we're hearing an F. So they're 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 detuned. Son of a gun. I don't want to detune. I, I I like my bass up the way it is. I'm just gonna have to. I'll just transpose it. No problem. I really want to play along to this. God. This sounds so good. I, I am digging the groove. I'm digging the melodics in this tune. I did not see the clean vocals coming. Did not see that. Uh, one, of my, one of my few, very few gripes about Arch Enemy in the past has been lack of melodic singing. I total and complete grit and growl. Now, granted, the grit and growl for it doesn't matter who it doesn't matter if it's Angela or it doesn't matter if it's Alyssa, they've always managed to get those melodic undertones in the grit and growl. You have to look for them, they're not blatantly obvious, but if you look for them and you search hard enough, you'll find them, they're there. But I've always wanted Alyssa, I mean, Angela's not the vocalist anymore, we know that, but I've always wanted Alyssa to, you know, because I know she can sing clean, I know she can. 
So I've always wanted to incorporate that more. And I, I, I did another reaction to another song. I forgot what song it was. I forgot what the song was, but there was another song I did from the, from Arch Enemy where she sang clean as well. I'm really hoping this really becomes a trend. I, I really do. I hope this becomes more of the uh, more of the usual vocal performance from her going forward in the future because she's got such a great clean vocal voice and incorporating it with her fantastic grit and growl it i think it's perfect i think it's absolutely perfect of her to be able to match both up have some clean have some melodic singing along with that aggressive grit and growl why not if you're able to do both do both i personally i like it that way I like having that variety. It, it tempers it. I don't like bands that do only grit and growl. That's all they do. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it. Even, even with the melodic undertones in the grit and growl, it, it definitely helps. And I, I like it when that happens. But if you ask me, which one would I prefer more? Grit and growl with melodic undertones through the whole song or flip-flopping between grit and growl and melodic singing. I'm going to tell you right now, I prefer flip-flopping. I do. I really do. I'm sorry. I'm going to play along. <laughs> sorry, but I'm going to play along. Uh, I make no, Actually, you know what? No, I'm not sorry. I make no apology for it. I want to have fun, and I'm enjoying the song. accents Whew. i'm gonna stop because i i don't know the song and it's moving in places i wasn't able to anticipate so i'm gonna put it out to the side it's not predictable it's not predictable at all um plus i'm tuned wrong <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here playing like literally playing the f that there we hear but they're playing f sharp i'm sure by the detuning it makes it a little easier to maneuver to maneuver on the neck um those accents, ba 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 ba, very reminiscent. Of, what was that song? Uh, Nemesis. Very reminiscent of Nemesis. Uh, very nicely done. I I'm digging the song. I'm I'm actually believe it or not, I'm digging the unpredictability. It's it's making me. It's forcing me. It's not even making me. It's literally forcing me to pay attention and to see where it's gonna go. Where direction we go? I'm gonna go this way. Or I'm gonna go this way. I don't know. I, I can't even venture a guess at this point. I'm, I, I'm no, no. <laughs> Don't even ask me where this is going to go. I have no clue. Um, digging everything up, man. Good Lord. I have a feeling this is newer. I have a feeling this is newer. I don't know if this is on the newest album, but it's, it's definitely within the last, I would say four years, maybe three years. Um, Three or four years, I would say. It's, 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 I'll I'll say it's no, it's no earlier than 2019. Uh, that that'd be my guess. I could be wrong about that, but I, I'm guessing this is 2019 forward. So, anyway, let's get back into it. Ah. Okay, 
what's this? Point of a breakdown? Oh. Okay. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Out of nowhere, just bang! Right back into it. No lead-in, no setup, no growth, no crescendo. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't get none of that. You just get to get smacked in the face like a frying pan right to the left side of your cheek. BAM! There it is! <laughs> right back into it! With a guitar solo to boot! Oh, good lord! <laughs> wow. Um... I would... Okay, I'm not going to. I'm not going to, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to do this, but... On my own time, I want to go back. I, I, I'm... It's taking every ounce of restraint on my part right now not to go back and listen to that whole section again you know what i no 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 for time no you know what? no 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 you know what forget it no we're gonna do it i'm gonna go back no no i don't care hey it's my show if i want to go back we're gonna go back i'm going all the way back. I want to hear that entire breakdown again. Wow, gorgeous. Gorgeous. I don't care. Plus I get to hear those accents again. Yeah. I'm absolutely here for that. All right, let's, now that I know what's coming, Great solos, great solos, great technical solos. Um, just an absolute shred fest. It all sounded good though. It all sounded good. Uh, it all, all the solos, both solos, sounded conducive to the song. They sounded like they belonged. They sounded like they fit. Uh, this song needs shreddy solos, and they delivered without question. Man, I'm having such a good day. I don't want today to end. 
I don't want today to end. I man, what a great day of filming I've had today. I really have. And to cap it off with this outstanding song. What a day. What a day, what a day. All right, let's let's finish this and we'll get to the review. What a great song. What a great song. Wow. I want to say something. I do. I really want to say something, but I'm not going to I'm not going to make this statement without being 100% sure. Cuz the last thing I want to do is stick my foot in my mouth and regret it later. Um Yeah, let me think about it. All right, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Arch Enemy with Handshake with Hell. This was a request from Tavern Tech, and it was also the winner of the Premier Tier Patreon Request Prioritization Poll, winning with 42% of the vote. It was pretty close, but uh, they got the win. It was number 566 in the queue. It got bumped straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. Okay. Um, I thought about it. Now, here's the thing. When I say I thought about it, usually what that means is I thought about the song. I took everything about the song into account. Songwriting, the, the mix, uh, the performance, uh, the highs and the lows. I, I, I take all of that into account when I normally say I thought about it. I didn't think about any of that. You don't know the power of the dark side. I already know what I had to say about all that. I, I already, I already, I already know exactly what I'm gonna say. What I had to think about for the last 10 minutes, I kid you not, I over 10 minutes, about 12 minutes actually. What I thought about for over 12 minutes was a thought, something I want, a statement, something I wanted to say. And I had to really think about it because if I'm going to make this statement, I, yeah, I, I, I better be, I better be absolutely 100% sure that I can say it with 100% confidence and without regret and I can back it up. I can support it. So I really spend some time thinking about this and um, I'm going to make the statement and I'm going to make the statement now before I give my score. I know this sounds cliche because you're going to hear this said on every reaction channel that you probably watch and you hear these reactors say the exact same thing on almost every single reaction video they do. This is blankety 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 blank. And they, it's like, oh God, we saw that coming. If you've watched my reactions at all it, for any period of time, you know when I make this statement, number one, I don't say it very often. It's a very rare thing for me to say, okay? Number one. Number two, you know me and you know I'm gonna be honest. And when I say this, I really think hard about it before I say it because the last thing I wanted to be doing is making myself look like a fool by being called a liar, you know what I mean? So, um, but I'm gonna make the statement on this, and uh, like I said, if you know me, <laughs> you know I mean it when I say it. This is my new favorite song from Arch Enemy, without question, hands down. Now, who can argue with that? Rabbit! Before this, I what was the song? Oh, uh, it was. Um, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I love Nemesis. I do, but I, I, I think my favorite song before this was uh, "A War I Must Win." This song beats it. I'm sorry. I, I. This is just my own personal feelings. I like this song more than "A War I Must Win." 
Um, I do not remember the score I gave a war I must win. I really hope I give this a higher score than that because we're going to find out. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this a 9.2. Yep, 9.2. You heard me. I didn't stutter. That is the score I feel this song deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? <laughs> There wasn't anything about this song that I did not enjoy. Um, I know I said this a couple times during the course of the reaction. This is my last video of the day. Uh, I've, this is this is my eighth video for this for this uh, for this day uh, before I go into editing and then filming again. Now I, I do film in batches. Um, I do like to get about eight videos done, usually a day. I like to film eight videos and then. Uh, over the next day or two, I'll edit those eight, usually four and four. Um, trust me when I say this, editing takes twice as long as filming does. If I film a 20 minute video, uh, it usually takes me anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to edit that video. Um, and it's it's a process, man. It is. Um, but I filmed, this is, this is my eighth video of the day, the last one of the day, and I went eight for eight today as far as enjoyment goes. I did not hate or dislike any of the songs that I did today. Folks, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's rare, okay? I will usually, at least one song will not be my cup of tea. At least one song will be, you know, not up my roadhouse or not, not in my wheelhouse, but I'll, I'll still, I'll be able to pull out the good things about the song. You know, it'll usually get a pretty good score, like at least up in the sixes or the sevens or something like that. But uh, that just because I gave it a good score doesn't mean I, I liked it personally. Every single song I did a reaction to today, I enjoyed. I absolutely did. It is a rare thing, and I'm going to remember this day as one of the rare days where I went eight for eight. Ah, uh, man, batting a thousand. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. It feels so good. Um... And I'm not gonna lie, man, I was nervous. I was nervous. And listen, my track record with Arch Enemy is really good, okay? There, there's there's not been a song that I've heard from Arch Enemy yet that I have not enjoyed in some way, shape, or form. But guys, there's always that one song that every band has that I just don't like, you know what I mean? And I was really hoping that today was not gonna be that day because I really wanted to go in for eight. And I did, and oh man, it feels so good. It really does. That about as good as that entrance felt. Did that entrance feel good or what? Coming in with that fading in guitar line, you know, just the the little 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 just just the melodic line that they were doing over and over and over and over and over again, you know. And you just you could see, you could feel it. You could feel there was gonna be something, that, and there's gonna be an explosion or something. There's gonna be a, the boom. When they lower it, it's gonna happen. They're gonna drop the hammer, and boy, now you know what? Here, wait, wait, wait. Here it is, boy. Did they ever drop the hammer or what? My goodness, they absolutely dropped the hammer when they came in, man. Everybody came in, big, full, grandioso sound, bah! Just absolutely filled out the sound so well, and it still stayed. As far as speed goes, it still stayed subdued. It did not speed up. It didn't kick in. It grew and grew and grew. And then out of nowhere, once it was ready, once it was time, pow, it came in. And it, from that point on, it took off like a shot until we got to the breakdown. Uh, really nice, really, really nice. Guitars sounded so good on this, man. Almost brought a tear to my eye. It almost did. The guitar sounded outstandingly mixed on this. The mix on this, the mix on everything, okay? I could hear everything. I could even hear the bass on this. It wasn't up at the front, it was, it was in the back, but I still heard it. And I didn't have to search for it for very long. I, I was like, where's the bass? Oh, there it is. You know, it was like that. I, I, it was like, literally, I had to search for a second to find it, and it was right there. And I was like, nice, 
The drums sounded so good. Guitar sounded so good. Bass sounded so good. Uh, Alyssa sounded so good. I mean, everybody, the mix, the engineering on this was impeccable. Absolutely impeccable. Uh, loved everything about the mix throughout the entire song, start to finish. Um, the drumming on this was super tight. Super tight. Great setups. Great transitions from phrase to phrase. All being done in the drums. Really nice job. Very tight playing. Bass locked in with them. Absolutely locked in with them. Still moving around the neck, though. There were some times where he took in some counter melodic lines to help with the setups, and it was noticeable. And it was absolutely noticeable. Very nicely done. Um, Alyssa's vocals on this. I love this direction that she's taking. It's the same direction that she had with uh, A War I Must Win, where she had the grit and growl, but then she would switch to melodic singing. I really hope this is the new trend for them. I really hope this is a new direction for them because I'm telling you folks, <laughs> it's gonna open doors for them. It really is. It's gonna open some amazing doors for them. If they can keep this transition going with her vocals. Um, I dig it. I love everything about it. The blend between the grit and growl and the melodic singing that she has is fantastic. Love everything about it. Um, I was sold on this song. I was. After the first chorus, I was absolutely, I was like, okay, I'm done. I, I, I've heard, I've honestly heard everything I need to hear. I, 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 I love this song. I like the song. It's a, it's a really nice song. What put this song over the top for me, uh, this is going to sound really weird coming from me. What put this song over the top for me was the breakdown. When they went into that breakdown section where everybody just came down in the mix and Alyssa's vocals came through clean melodic sounded so nice we heard harmonies something I don't think I've ever heard from uh from Arch Enemy I don't think I've ever heard oh wait yeah we did in uh in uh, A War I Must Win she had harmonies in there my bad my bad but I mean the harmonies in here were spotlighted and I was thrilled with that and then after the harmonies came in, she came in with that melodic line where she added just a little bit of grit when she came over the top. What a nice addition. Great addition. And then, <laughs> once the breakdown happened, was there some sort of an escalation? No. Was there some sort of a swell? No. Was there some sort of a growth? No. No. We went from down here, boom, to up here, and it just... Man, it was like getting rocked in the head with a sledgehammer. Like, I, I, I equated it to being smacked in the face with a frying pan. It just out of nowhere just kicked right back in with a shreddy guitar solo. God dang it. What? <laughs> I, I, normally I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not usually a big fan of abrupt change like that. But in this case, it worked really well. I think it's because it was a guitar solo that we kicked back in with. Maybe that's what kind of softened the blow a little bit. But the guitar solo is very appropriate for the style of the song. Um, great ending. I mean, the way they ended the song, I had no issue with whatsoever. The whole song, start to finish, was outstanding. And that is how I'm coming up with the fantastic score, the amazing score, the impressive score uh, of 9.2. And I am going to go on record and say that this is my new favorite song from Arch Enemy, hands down. I feel good with that 9.2. I am so glad I went 8 for 8 today. And without further ado, I'm gonna end it. So, well, I'm gonna end, listen, I'm gonna end undefeated. 8 for 8, baby, yeah! Let's end this meeting on a high note. <laughs> Nine point two final score. I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of reactions, reviews, and rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. 
Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.